If you want to save time, avoid manual work, and make Excel smarter for real-world use, we've got five powerful tricks to boost your productivity. Let's jump in. Trick one, quick analysis tool. Your instant Excel assistant. This one is like having your own personal Excel assistant. Here's a sample 2024 quarter two product sales data set that we'll use to demonstrate the quick analysis tool in action. Let's say we have units sold for different products and I want to quickly highlight the values above 600. Here's how fast we can do it. First, I'll press Ctrl plus A to select my data, then Ctrl plus Q to bring up the quick analysis tool. Now, look at all the options we have here. We can instantly add spark lines, turn the data into a table, add totals like sum, average, or count, or even insert charts right away. If I hover over a chart option, Excel gives me a live preview. With just one click, the chart is inserted. Next, let's try some formatting. Under formatting, I can apply conditional formatting. Using shortcut keys, I can press tab to navigate through different options, like data bars, color scales, and more. But let's keep it simple. I just want to highlight units sold above 600. So I'll choose greater than, type in 600, and apply a green fill. Done. My conditional formatting is instantly applied. Now what if I want spark lines to see trends? Again, I can press Ctrl plus A, Ctrl plus Q, or simply click the little quick analysis icon that appears. This time, I'll select spark lines. Now, I can clearly see the monthly trend for each product. And if I want running totals, it's just as easy. I'll highlight my data, open the quick analysis menu, go to totals and select running total. Instantly, Excel adds running totals. For example, April shows just April, while June shows April through June added sales together. All of these calculations and visuals are just a click away with the quick analysis tool. Trick two, one-click forecasting. Predict the future with Excel. This is a lifesaver for anyone working with sales or revenue data. Just imagine being able to forecast your future sales. Well, you don't have to imagine, because we're going to do it together right now. Here, we have monthly sales data recorded monthly from 2023 through June 2025. Let's say I want to forecast my sales for the next year and a half. All I need to do is select my data set by pressing Ctrl plus A, then go to Data, Forecast Sheet. That's it. Excel automatically generates my future sales forecast, accounting for seasonality as well. Now it may forecast more periods than I need, but I can easily adjust that. For example, under Forecast End, I can use the calendar picker to set the forecast up to December. Under Options, we have the confidence interval, which is set to 95%. This means that 95% of my future data points will fall between the lower bound and the upper bound shown here. Seasonality is set to detect automatically, but you can also set it manually if you prefer. Once you're happy with the settings, just click Create, and there you go. You'll get a chart with your future sales forecast. Since this is a standard Excel chart, you can customize the formatting or design however you want. The best part? Excel also generates a table alongside the chart, showing the lower and upper confidence bounds for each future month. Any adjustments you make to the table will automatically reflect in the chart. Perfect for sales managers, finance teams, or business owners who need quick, reliable sales or revenue projections to plan inventory, budgets, and strategies without using complex statistical tools. The next time saver is quick analysis. Trick three, Power Query magic. Clean and reshape data in seconds. Power Query is hands down the ultimate time saver. 
This isn't a tool just for Excel geeks. It's for anyone who works with data, whether it's data from multiple sources or messy data, which, let's be honest, is most of the time. The best part, you already have it. Power Query lives right inside the data tab in the Excel ribbon. Want to import data from a text or CSV file? It's there. Need data from the web? Just click. Want to pull data from a picture or even a PDF? You can do that too, all directly from Power Query. Now, we have separate videos that go deep into these, but in this example, let me show you one concrete case. Imagine this. You come into the office and your boss hands you a file with monthly data. Each row shows the date, just placeholders for the first of each month, product names, and their total sales. Then your boss says, can you give me this data with months across the columns instead? At first glance, you might think, do I manually replace these dates with month names, then copy and paste sales data under the right columns, and repeat that hundreds of times across 400 plus rows? That would be painful. But if you know Power Query, you can do it in 10 clicks or less. Watch this. Select from table slash range. Sends data to Power Query. Add a column. Date. Month. Name of month. Delete the original month column. Select the new month name column. Go to Transform, then Pivot column. Choose the Values column. Total Sales. Click OK. Finally, close and load back to Excel. And that's it. You've converted your messy rows into a clean matrix format by month in just a few clicks. How cool is that? And this is just the beginning. Power Query can clean, transform, and automate your data prep in ways that save hours of manual work. Trick four, dynamic titles. Smarter, error-free reports. Dynamic titles are particularly useful for financial modeling. Take a look at this simple model. We have the company name at the top with some related information below. The idea here is that by making the title dynamic, if I change the company name from Samsung to Apple, all the headers instantly update to reflect that change. This is super helpful because it saves time and prevents the embarrassment of forgetting to manually update a header. And the best part? It's surprisingly easy to set up. Let's build it from scratch. Start by typing equals and selecting the cell with the company name. Add an ampersand. Inside quotation marks, type the text you want. For example, investment summary. Notice that I included a space right after the quotation mark so the text doesn't run into the company name. When I hit enter, Excel combines the company name with the custom title. So if the cell says Apple, the header becomes Apple Investment Summary. If I switch the company name to Samsung, the header updates automatically to Samsung Investment Summary. It's that simple. And it keeps all your headers consistent without extra effort. Trick five, dynamic ranges. Formulas that grow with your data. This trick is going to completely blow your mind if you haven't seen it before. Take a look. We have a data set with months and products, and at the bottom, I want a running total. Normally, you'd just type a total formula. Or if you know the shortcut, you'd select the data and press Alt plus equals to sum the entire range. That works fine, until the sheet is shared with multiple teams. People may add new months or products, and sometimes they insert them in unexpected places. For example, if someone adds July with values in the middle of the table, the existing sum formula won't pick it up because it only looks at the original range. What I want is a dynamic total that always expands, no matter where new rows or columns are added. Here's how we do it using a dynamic naming technique. Select any cell. Open the name manager, shortcut Control plus F3. Create a new name, for example, Call it previous cell. 
Instead of locking it to a fixed reference like C18, change it to a relative reference, equals sheet one exclamation mark C18. Remove dollar signs so the reference is dynamic. Keep the exclamation mark and just write C17. Click OK, then close the name manager. Now try it. If you type equals previous cell in a cell, it shows whatever is in the cell right above it. If the cell above is blank, it returns zero. If you type high, it shows high. That's because it's always looking at the previous cell. So, how does this help with totals? Let's say my sum formula starts from cell C7, instead of ending at C12. I'll replace that with previous cell. Press Enter, and now my sum formula automatically expands to include any new rows added above it. To test it, I'll cut and paste the total row a bit lower, add some new rows, and type in values. Instantly, the total updates, including the new numbers. This technique is incredibly powerful because it creates a truly dynamic range. You can also apply the same logic across columns, not just rows. All you need is to define previous cell accordingly and adjust the range. And just like that, you've built a dynamic sum that grows with your data. No manual updates needed. And that's it. Five Excel tricks for saving time, reducing manual work, and making Excel smarter for everyday use. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials.